If you've been watching my uh, previous videos, you'll know I've been building myself a mini antenna site and this is one of the antennas we put up. This is a uh, quarter wave vertical for 40 metres. Now, eventually the plan is to get a 20 metre mast in here and uh, have a full size quarter wave for uh, 80 metres. But uh, budgets and all the rest of it, we, uh, we haven't actually got the mast yet. So I wondered, I, I wondered if I can make this resonate on 80 meters and I was looking into a couple of ways of doing it you can put a tuner at the base which is not the cheapest way of doing it I have got a tuner so I'll probably try that but uh, it's not the cheapest way of doing it and I was looking at coils um, inductance coils and wondering if that would work so I was looking at uh, ways of making various inductive coils looking at the materials I'd need uh, most people make them from PVC pipe um, from the uh, DIY store and then um, I looked across the office and I noticed this now this is one of those flexi tubes that they use on air conditioning and I think they use them on the uh, tumble dryers as well it's basically a vent tube and I thought that makes quite a nice little coil and uh, also it's uh, extendable as well you can extend it or shrink it so I thought in my head I thought adjustable inductive coil I wonder if it'll work so uh, I've come down here to the antenna farm and uh, I've rigged up the uh, 40 meter quarter wave vertical here which uh, like I say is resonant on uh, 40 meters and uh, here you go another camera angle on the fly here so I've got my um, antenna analyzer down here so let's get the other camera in nice and close so hopefully you can see that and what are we on? Let's go 40 meters. So down to uh, 72, which is the top of the uh, top of the 40 meter band. You can see I've got a nice uh, 1.3 to one there. And down into the CW portion and 7.0 right at the very bottom of the band still got uh, about 1.4 1.5 to 1 there so uh, that antenna is at the moment definitely resonant on 40 meters so what I'm wondering is if I put this coil on there on the base can I make this antenna resonate around about the 80 meter band probably about the SSB portion maybe uh, maybe about 3.7 now using a coil it does tend to narrow the bandwidth of the antenna so we won't I'd be amazed if we covered the whole 80 meter band I don't think we will but if I can get sort of three say 3.6 up to 3.8 maybe 3650 up to 38 the SSB portion I'd be absolutely delighted so uh, I reckon we should give that a go. So I'll shut the camera off. I'll uh, connect up this uh, coil and uh, we'll see if we can make an inductance coil out of uh, a piece of air conditioning tubing. Right, so my uh, inductance coil fitted and uh, I've actually got another one in here. I did a quick test. I've uh, got my antenna analyzer down here which uh, measures inductance. So I've put both of these on there and this one uh, measures round about 20 to 60 depending on how far I extend it so fully closed gives me the highest inductance of around uh, 60 microhenries fully open is around about 20 21 so uh, it does seem to be providing inductance which is good it's kind of what we'd expect so uh, I've put one of these coils on the antenna here and uh, I've got the antenna analyzer down here. I'll get the uh, second camera out so you can uh, see what we've got. So, yeah, you can see that that's still on uh, 7160 when I tested uh, on uh, 40 meters. And as expected, the SWR is uh, through the roof. So, let's set that down to the 80 meter band now. And uh, I'm expecting that to come down. That's actually pretty damn close. 
actually. Where's the frequency? A bit difficult to see in the sunlight. Uh, we've got uh, seven. Uh, 3760, that is spot on, that's giving me about 1.7 on the SWR, so where is it actually resonant? So that's rising. So it's giving me 1.5 to 1 at about 3.7, so I could tweak that slightly just to bring me slightly higher up into the SSB but actually that's uh, more or less spot on so I've got the uh, coil part extended I sort of went halfway so I've got um, the ends collapsed down and the bit in the middle open and I reckon that's good to go on 80 meters actually I reckon we need to uh, get the radio out and give that a go Right, so we've got a radio hooked up then. I've got a old ICOM 703 here. It's a lovely old radio. Um, and uh, I found a couple of people in Curacao here on the 3650. Now, the band is a little bit quiet at the moment. It's perhaps not quite the right time of day for it. But there are people on there. So if I get the other camera, so I bring the other camera in so you can see. So there you go, 3650 and getting a good signal on there. Now, if I just go off frequency a bit so I don't uh, interfere with them. So we go 3655 and uh, I'll key up and we'll check the SWR. M0 GQC test. So you see there we were getting about a uh, SWR of two, maybe just a tiny bit under. So, as expected, the bandwidth is narrow, but uh, it's usable. If I bring the uh, internal tuner in, there you go. And uh, M0 GQC testing, testing for SWR 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Testing from M0 GQC. So you can see there that we uh, were getting around about 1.5 to 1. So. Uh, this is actually a perfectly viable solution. So it turns out that you can in fact make, let's turn that down. So it turns out that you can in fact make an inductive loading coil from a piece of uh, air conditioning vent hose or tumble dryer vent hose. It was a fun experiment anyway. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.